common question that I'm asked is, when do you need to start talking to your son about puberty? I think there's a really sim simple sign you can look for. As soon as you begin to notice a change in his body odor, then you know you have entered puberty and it's time to get those talks going. But as you know, these boys, 8, 10 years old, are not going to want to sit down and have a big talk with you that includes a lot more information than they really need to know at this moment. They want you to keep it short, get to the point, and move on. And so I've organized the content on my website to facilitate that for those of you that have boys and you need to teach them about puberty. So of course I have a book for you for 8 to 10 year old boys and you can purchase that on Amazon. It's called I'm a Boy, My Changing Body and it has all the details that a boy in this age group would need to know. But I think you need a little bit more help than that. And so what I've done is I've taken that book and I've divided it into two pieces, two topics. One topic is going to be the signs to tell you that you've entered puberty and it goes through more than just body odor. You know, it talks about other changes that your son is going to recognize. And that second topic is about sperm, which I think learning about his testicles and sperm production that's a really important piece of information as he uh, begins to enter uh, puberty and sperm production begins to happen. So you can go to my website, go to the downloads for boys in this age group, and you will find these two uh, small topics that you can choose from. So you don't have to get the whole book initially. And uh, with those, I have these wonderful little seven minute chats. I think seven minutes is about all you get to be able to hold their attention and be sure that they at least got some of the main points. And those are free downloads for you. And you can look through those. You can do one one day and another one months later. You have a few years to get through that content. But it just keeps it going and it builds a fun time together for you and your son, whether it be mom or dad, doesn't matter who's going to be doing these talks with them. Um, let's make them fun, let's make them brief, and not something that they dread like, oh no, but you know, this is going to be interesting. So, you're all set. I've really worked hard to get my website up to speed now so that it'll be a very easy, manageable portal between you and me. I'm Dr. M with Anatomy for Kids.